Sydney is our Charlotte. So she's one of the attractive and hazardous speaker that I just mentioned. <laughs> and that's welcome, Charlotte. <laughs> All right, fine. We have quite a lot of people today. It's great. Unfortunately, tonight's topic is not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> Be honest. Investment is not really my thing. So, I have to make some effort on researching what I can do. I thought of the questions I prepared for all my session masters and speakers for a weekend. My questions was not the one I asked you. It was originally before, before that was different one. But I thought about it like over and over again. It's like, no, 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 no. I gotta change to a different kind of question. Now, before my question, so we have a few guests today, right? Uh, if you are a guest, can you raise your hand? One, two, three, three only? Okay. Okay. You're a guest. Actually, I am a guest. All right. Yeah. So, if you are a guest, then I have to tell you what Toastmaster is. Oh, that's a hard one. Toastmaster, well, it says it's a non profit organization, but it charges us a lot of money. I don't know why. Some people said, I want to improve my English. I have to tell you the truth. You cannot improve your English if you just come over here. Really, you can't. You really can't. <laughs> <laughs> have to study at home first. <laughs> <laughs> and some people say, I want to improve my um, public speaking skill and maybe uh, some speech skills. Maybe you can, but <laughs> still, if you just come over here, you cannot improve anything. You have to study at home first. Okay, practice at home first. Okay. So later you will see a lot of people come onto the stage. These people, they have been practicing, they have been prepared a lot. So they get to stay on the sta stand on the stage. Okay. Most of the people. Okay. Now, so... It's an interesting place for you to have fun with other members. You get, you get to meet new people, and uh, you get to learn something new. Not just English or public speaking skills, you probably can learn some leadership, possibly. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so everything is uncertain. <laughs> just like investment. <laughs> so now it match your topic. <laughs> yeah. Investment is like you put some effort, you put some money, you put some time, and the result is uncertain. <laughs> but you still need to work on it, right? Not just because it's uncertain, I just I give up, not do anything. So that's pretty much did I make it clear or not really? Still don't know I want to share very quick one of my dreams from I mean two days ago probably. Um, in my dream, it was terrible. I totally forgot I had to come over here to be the TME. <laughs> I just hung out with my friends from college, and then at the end of that day, I just like damn, I forgot to come to the Toastmaster. I promise, Mark, I will be TME. And now I just forgot. <laughs> In my dream, I was seriously typing online, like, sorry, Mark, I forgot. Uh, I don't know what to say. I didn't even remind you to find wow. a firefighter. I'm so right. sorry, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what's so stressful? Oh, my God. And when I woke up, I just like, oh, oh so tired. Oh, but I forgot to tell you. In my dream, some people ask me, like, so can you explain what Toastmaster is? And in my dream, I said, oh, it's hard to explain. Unless you come over here by yourself. <laughs> so it's, it's true. You, you need to come over here and later you'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm not going to explain anymore. i just be very irresponsible. <laughs> and you will see. Then I'll be more true than what I say. Okay, 
So tonight's topic is investment, and just like I said, coming to Toastmaster is kind of investment. You prepare, you spend time, money, effort, and then you might learn something, you might grow a little bit, you might not. Who knows? I'm certain. Okay. So before that, okay, I'm going to introduce you two very important rule, rules for our meeting. The first one is timer. Timer is Mark, right? Okay. So um, I just know Mark like maybe few months ago or few weeks ago. Yeah, I'm mean, not that very <laughs> close to you. I don't, know. I don't know you actually. Well, for me, Mark is like a chef of boiling frog soup. I know what it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just think about in Chinese, it's like a person boiling frog in a pot. And then when the frog realizes someone is cooking him, it's too late. It's been trapped. Mark is like a chef. He's just like going around, find a member, and I'm going to make a speech. Hey, what about TV next week? Hey, TV, how's that sound? And then he's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever you do. And then you just stand right here. It's like a dream. It's kind of stressful. Anyway, he's very responsible being a VPE, right? Yeah. <laughs> and before we say that, he must be really good at investment, making lots of money and profits, because he owns a luxurious mansion on Minshui Road, right? <laughs> Near Minshui Road. <laughs> Near Minshui Road. Well, even more luxurious. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to I'll share this question. My question is: um, American novelist Erica John once she said. Love is love, but marriage is an investment. Okay, do you agree with it or not? And Mark, he is married, so his answer is not hard to guess. He said he partially agree with it, right? Partially, or I make it wrong. Partially? Oh, you forgot. That's okay. <laughs> no one knows. He said. Um, to love just need a spark. But marriage, it requires much more than that. It requires commitment, it requires dedication, it requires lots of effort, you need to sacrifice yourself. So, he said, if you see marriage is an investment, you might get disappointed. The result is uncertain, you never know. And if you see it as an investment, the ROI might disappoint you. So I have to research. See, the people is laughing, he must know investment, right? What is ROI? People like me will never know. So I did research. <laughs> Return on investment, right? Jeez. <laughs> Man stuff. Investment. So that's will call Mark as our time. <laughs> Everyone, I am a timer today, and my job is to uh, help control the timing and uh, make sure all of us can go home on time. Because maybe someone uh, have a uh, strong urge to to embrace, embrace uh, his goddess. Goddess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, when I show a green boat. Uh, it means that you meet the uh, minimal time requirement. And uh, uh, when I show the yellow uh, boat, uh, it means that you have uh, one minute uh, left for prepare the speak for prepare speakers and the thirty seconds left for evaluators and the table topic speakers. And when I show the uh, red card, it means your time is up and you still have thirty seconds. Uh, left to final final your speech. Uh, after the thirty seconds, I will ring the bell. It means that your your company will be will uh, happy because they have more chance to win the award. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just from.
from how he speaks. You can tell he's like a successful businessman, very good at investment, right? Maybe, I don't know. Well, I, I missed something. He, he was like the last two people answer my question. I have to say that. <laughs> Why? Because he, he just, he just like, um, it's so hard. This question is so hard. <laughs> I've been learning engineering. I think calculus is much easier than this question. <laughs> well, he's a genius, I think. <laughs> well, so it's very interesting. I, I like his answer. I like his response afterwards. Okay, later is our all counter Yu Tian. <clears throat> I, I know Yu Tian, this person, for a few months. But actually, I don't know her. <laughs> Never really talk to her, um, officially I guess, and as I know, Yuten is a mom, a very hard working mom, and of course she loves to learn, that's why you still don't see a mom comes to a postmaster, right? And mm -hmm. she comes here very often and she learns very fast and a lot, and plus she's very creative and improve every single time, very nice. So it's, she's like a good result. You see, if you invest on Toastmaster, you can learn so much. That's a role model. <laughs> okay, so I asked Yu Tian the same question. Love is love, uh, marriage is investment. Guess what she answered? She's married. So her answer is, yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> marriage is investment. She said, love is like, and affection, you just fall into it really quickly. But marriage, wow, it takes a lot of responsibility. Not just taking care of your better half, you also have to take care of each other's family. Wow, she thought about that. And that's why you see that an experienced person will say something like that. So just look at the reality. Think about if you want to get married, you have to. <laughs> yes, a lot to do, a lot to do. Okay. Um, I like her answer. If I miss anything, I will put it up later. So now that's will come with ten as our outcome. Hello, good evening, everyone. I'm the art hunter today. It's R. What is R? R is a necessary word so that it uh, exists in your uh, speech, but as the as an uh, investor, we just try to be a winner in the investment. But remember, never try to be a winner in R. Never try to collect as many R as possible. Okay? <laughs> so whenever I have a good suggestion, whenever you just can help try to say, speak up some R's in your, during your speech, remember, just keep silent. Because when you keep silence and give your audience a very confident eyes, that will make your audience say, whoa, you just try to do some facial expressions rather than you just try to feel some art, something like, so by the way, and then, and I think you know. So that's my suggestion, and I hope every speaker will have zero art. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Yu Tian. See the way she talks. 